Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you just truly love this injury, the mad high lord of the first is preferring level 33 boxes, madman, cutest fucking to this 13 and all around neutral guy. Uh, this year thus far has been not very friendly to me regarding recording. For one, I had to cancel the Dark Souls 2 series because I mucked up a recording session and that game does not have the chance to re reload to an earlier save. On the other hand, I recorded this particular episode a dozen times maybe. Actually, it's more like nine times. Not quite as bad as a dozen, but still quite a bit. Uh, had some trouble with the computer. Also, this is where I keep my snow globes. I currently have only good springs. We're gonna get more of this episode though, because I know exactly where they are. And I'm gonna go get them, because I've already found them before, and, you know, why not? Skip to that nonsense. Also, I cleared up the table so I can get my spatula over there. Also, I think I can wear this armor again, because it should be relatively okay enough. And in a couple of levels I should be able to use my bright armor to... bright robes to fix it. Where to, partner? Uh, let's go to the cocktail lounge first. I got business in the cocktail lounge, namely there are cash registers. And not only are the cash registers, there's a snow globe. Yay! The one that has been lost and which I was seeking uh, last time on... Uh, in, anyway, the room owned by uh, Mr. House upstairs. Yes, the penthouse, that's the one I was me meaning to say, yes. Also, look at that glorious landscape. I don't know why that is the way it is. It kind of looks like the Moro and Default uh, construction sets texture, but I don't think it is the same one. Maybe it is, but just at a higher resolution, I don't know. Back to the casino. Look at business in the casino. Namely, there is. We can recreate the scene that I did in. had in. you know. Uh, last episode's. Uh, next episode preview thing, which is, you know, about this thingy floating. Sadly, I had to scrap that footage as well. So, yeah. Another time for me to record this episode. Great. Uh, luckily that wasn't really all that disastrous, but still. I don't think all of these containers had stuff last time. I may be wrong. But that is odd either way. Nothing in the cannon cabinets, as expected. Alright then, let's go for the safes. And more cigarettes. Yeah. Uh, I still trust these uh, safes to have exactly what I expected to have because uh, last time we reported this the safes did include stuff that you know are just good loot in nothing bad in them still looks like it and sell them all nice and fine and well and stuff all excellent like. I'm gonna take that free war money, not the ashtray. We need the ashtray. Cash? Cash. Also, blow the phone. Yeah. And the reason it was it started oh it's actually not floating, is it? No it is. The reason it started floating was it because it was sunk into the desk a little bit too much. Can I? Fly away, phone. There we go. Excellent. No one needs the phone over there anyway. It's not like the phone lines are still working, right? Right? Right. Right, there's more cash around and then there's this terminal which you can't be bothered to hack because I don't think it provided me with anything useful. Golden gloves will be deposited upstairs in my weapons chest. Yes, great, even. That's great, even. Alright, so then I can hurry along right up these stairs. I was not gonna say up your ass. Honest. Well, no, you did anyway. 
Where are we going? We're going to get more money first. Yes, good. Then we're gonna get these cartons of cigarettes. Maybe even these packs of cigarettes. Maybe even a whole building full of cigarettes. Nothing but cigarettes. We're gonna fill this casino up with cigarettes and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be fantastic. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, because I don't. They need your help. Tell me what I'm talking about. Because I have no idea. Nothing in those filing cabinets. Let's go ahead and go to the strip. Can't look at the sky because I need to look at this person pop in. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. Hello. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Thank you. Goodbye. I guess we should also visit Crocker this episode. But what? first off... Are you serious? I'm no, gonna lazily pop that. into the Mormon fort, Mormon fort and grab a bubble. No, not not the bubble head. A thingy. Yeah, that's right. A thingy. Uh, maybe to be more precise, I guess I mean a snow globe. There we go. It took me a bit, but I got there eventually. No idea why it took me that long though. Maybe we should be using an action weapon, you know, like this. Oh, that's... that's... That was not the action weapon. Somehow I managed to skip to the binoculars. Yeah. Well, one of the people over there is having a little bit of fun with that guy. No, not that guy, the other guy, I guess. Can I? I can. I think the sights are slightly off there, but I'm not sure. Anyway. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. That's nice. At least the weather is not a uh, mess yet. I'm using a mod. What was it? Nevada skies. It's all very, very evil. More than 320 weather settings. Uh, and some of them include fantastic options like a radiation storm. Yeah, you can imagine how that could be fun, right? Plus 4 radiation per second. Yeah. Had to hide in the clinic, but you know, as I mentioned, I didn't actually get to keep that particular footage. As sad as that may be. And that is very sad. That was great footage. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Apparently my issues were caused by something as simple as plugging the Yeti into a USB 3.0 slot instead of a standard USB slot, which you know I was kind of expecting it to do more good than damage, but you know, he ended up with more damage instead. Great. Kept cutting out there like a son of a bitch. Right, let's be very, very careful now because there might still be. No, no, you killed him. Good job, King. You're not their King, but you're King's gang member. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? Yes, it's where I'm gonna put this corpse up yours. Personal space. Found you. What? Another one? Come on. Bugger off. Thank you. Can we get... Oh. Butt shot. Like that? Butt shot. I don't think he has anything useful though. Thanks for fighting beside me, King. Oh, look. We broke his leg. You know... Remember when I was hunting for experience, hoping for these guys to spawn? Nothing. Now that I'm got my level, they're everywhere. Everywhere. I only expected two of them. That's the most I've gotten of them before. Yo. That's what I'm doing. Right. Into here. Here being the strip. Nice enough place, I guess. Good too with more hookers. There's only a limited amount of hookers. 
You need more hook as it blues. Maybe strip isn't blues. Yeah, that could also do. But I don't see any giant rats of poos. And there should be giant rats of poos. Simple containers like tanks would do. We need rats. Like rats of poos. Yeah, just like that. Put the gun away. We're not robbing anyone, we're only but we're not mugging anyone. I guess I guess we're robbing. In a way. Yeah. Since I am just randomly walking into their room and taking the snow globe. Because I'm on their snow globe. And they're not gonna use it, are they? No. I am though. It's gonna get me some implants. Yeah, it's gonna cover more implant costs. Quite so, quite so. He then I am so lock picking I look pick I can't wait now. How would you say it? That that doesn't do it either. Uh, I had some ideas on how I could rhyme that, but now I forgot. Doesn't really matter anyway, because I don't need rhymes. Rhymes are for poets who know it and stuff. Yeah. I'm not gonna actually pay too much attention to what uh, she may have hidden in these places, because I don't really need to, for one. We might do that later, but first... I really want to catch up to where I was with my first four episodes I recorded on this computer because you turned around. the stuff I need to do, the stuff I need to do, there's people I need to dead, and there's things I need to achieve. Some of the things include setting the world on fire, and actually no, but something along those lines, certainly. Though I'm still uncertain exactly what was along those lines. Really, I should go this way. Yeah, there we go. Hello. What's you up to, eh? Please obey all weapon laws. Is this a weapon law? Hmm? Hmm? Is this a weapon law? Uh, there's probably law for that, yeah. Sorry. Nice present people around here. Oh, that's Michelangelo's. And here's the embassy. Wait, actually the door is that way. I should not go to the garage door. That doesn't do anything. At all. It's like a scrub room. Scrub Fortress 2. Why did I want to finish that with Cortex Strikes Back? Because of Crash Bandicoot. Ah, I see you received my message. Good, good. I had something important to discuss with you. Spit it out or hit the road. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. I shit you not, I might actually not be that kind of person. Also, I think I might align with NCR this time, just so Boon can be happy. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them Boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the Boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? No. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. No. Bye. Goodbye. He has nothing in his safe. Oh, there's something in the funny cabinets there. Hey, hey, hey. Don't look! I'm shy. Maybe if I went behind you. And behind. Sneaky, sneaky, stealthy, stealth. No, you're not a fan of that, are you? There's nothing in there anyway, so it's okay. What's Hello. in your briefcase then? A coffee. What? <laughs> There's a coffee mug in this ambassador's briefcase. That makes perfect sense. 
I it's glad I'm glad to see that the NCR is so perfectly represented. Uh, why did I hit that button? Because I could, probably, yeah. Likely. Likely enough an option. Yes. Now we're gonna head back to the Lucky 38. Then in my uh, hey. Hey. That's not very nice, is it? No, not at all. I did notice that before. Huh. Maybe there's something up with my LOD settings because it looks fine over Hey! Still not fine. No, 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 it's probably just the long distance thingy. Level of detail thingy, actually, that's what LOD stands for. Uh, Mesh spring is slightly broken. I say broken when I mean shite. Same thing basically. Where to, partner? Deep and hoosh. I shit you not, I have some snow globes. Well, hello, sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snow globes. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Stay out of my room. Goodbye. Also, let's go to my room, actually. Penthouse floor. Victor, my friend, toss me into the presidential suit. Like, pick me up and... Whoosh, right into the ceiling. Also, I had these golden gloves I wish to put here. Deposit them right with my death gun and red slayer and thinky that the Rex in here. I was gonna say the Rex dinosaur, but that would have been really silly, wouldn't it? Ah, look, I'm missing free now. Quite nice. The desk side looks... <laughs> Are you serious? And, uh, honestly, the strip and the Mormon fort look about as silly. Good springs look sensible. High roller sweet. Drop me to the casino. I have no idea why, that, for, for, why that voice was there. It should have been. It's just a big silly. Boon? Follow me, motherfucker. I've got your back. Also, how are you? What is it? And what is it you aren't telling me about what happened to your wife? You got no right asking me that. Drop it. Okay. Alright. I was out of line. <sighs> it's just something I'm not ready to discuss. With you or anybody. The Legion's the only thing I want on my mind right now. Okay, okay. Uh, see ya. Yeah. By which I mean, follow me, we are going on an adventure. You too. Follow me, we're going on an adventure. The adventure does not include hookers or strippers, so... Don't touch either of those. Uh, let's go to the scripts and scrapyard. It sounds completely irrelevant, but I shit you not, this woman has money. And she's asleep. Get out of bed! Get out of bed! So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? We left off... Uh, what do you know about Helios 1? The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Uh, that was necessary for my friend over there behind me. Who gets uh, sure thing? Let me have a look. Gets memories from keywords or something like that. Let's trade. Happy to do it. Yeah, I keep forgetting to use my roving trader uh, hat. Oh, also if I would sell my frag grenades, I could make so much money. I'm gonna sell eight of them, so I keep them at ten like I used to back in the day of uh, the other series. So accept and move on. I run part of that, but I got that Another achievement Another satisfied already. customer. Goodbye. Take care now. Okay, easy. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. Continue, please. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. 
However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro outpost. Continue. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. I'm not sure still which one was the keyword it needed. Was it the... It was either Brotherhood of Steel or Helios 1, but I'm not sure which. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. They're trying to eat flesh. Eat this! Flesh! Flesh!